RGB Mini LED claim to offer richer colors than conventional Mini LED. But when theory meets reality, does it really deliver? What happens when color dimming can't hold its color? Let's start with a color reproduction test. When a white cross is placed over the colored boxes and then removed, do you see how the colors shift? You can clearly see the change in color within each box based on the presence of the white cross. By covering the cross, the effect becomes easier to notice. The effect becomes even more obvious once you look at the backlight. When only the colored boxes are on screen, the LEDs light individually. This is called color dimming. But once the white cross appears, all three LEDs turn on together to display white, switching to white dimming. RGB Mini LED TVs are said to drive red, green, and blue LEDs separately to create color dimming and through color filters produce richer, more vivid colors. But in reality, LCDs can only dim in zones. Whenever multiple colors appear within the same zone, color dimming collapses and the system falls back to white dimming, just like any other mini LED TV. That's why ads and showroom demos often rely on simple images with broad, single-color areas. In those idealized scenes, the LEDs can light individually, making it seem as if color dimming is effective. But in everyday content, like news broadcasts, movies, sports, or gaming, complex colors always coexist on screen. And in those situations, the red, green, and blue LEDs end up lighting together most of the time, forcing the system back into white dimming. The promise of richer color simply doesn't hold up in everyday use. It's not innovation. It's the same old LCD limitations dressed up to look new.